on this and every World Press Freedom Day, the world must speak with one voice. Stop the threats and attacks. Stop detaining and imprisoning journalists for doing their jobs. Stop the lies and disinformation. Stop targeting truth and truth tellers. Adults must set the right examples for young people. We must be the role model. If the family unit is solid, then uh, the community will be solid. Go back to the basics. The Hot 96 News now with Teddy Otieno. Good afternoon. President William Ruto has held talks with the Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida. Now the talks set status focused on issues among them peace and security, trade and investment, and blue economy. Besides calling for global attention on conflicts in Africa, President Ruto also pushed for initiatives that support the climate change cause in the Horn of Africa and beyond. During our meeting, I conveyed to His Excellency the Prime Minister my high regard for Japan's long-standing bilateral partnership with Kenya in infrastructure development, trade and investment, the blue economy, and human capital development, effective global attention on forgotten conflicts in Africa, the urgent need to reinforce peace and security in the Horn of Africa, global climate change, and its effects. I called on Japan and G7 to lend robust support to initiatives aimed at addressing climate change. On his part, the Japanese Prime Minister welcomed continued relations between the two countries. With Japan having assumed the rotational G7 presidency, the Prime Minister noted that the G7 Hiroshima summit, which will be held on the 19th to the 21st of this month, will offer more opportunities on economy, investment and other issues affecting the region, such as the war in Sudan. It is a great pleasure to visit Kenya at this milestone year of the 60th anniversary of our diplomatic relationship. Kenya is the hub of a major economic area in East Africa and is a major power in Africa, contributing proactively to the peace and stability of the region and beyond. Regarding the situation in Sudan, I expressed my grave concern concern and added how encouraged I am about the initiative by President Ruto offering his mediation in an effort to try to resolve the situation by Africa themselves. Meanwhile, a requiem mass for six Mbihi girl students who died in a road accident in Aivasha is underway. The mass is being held at the school in Vihiga County following the April 18 tragedy. We have been really invested in her. Lakini ya tukujua kwa amba siku moja, atatuwacha kwa njia amba alituwacha. Tulingwajea kwa hospitali kwa huo muda alikuwa badu waja tuwacha. Lakini yote ilikuwa bure, ilikuwa ende. Tuwachie mungu, ye ye na anajua. Na tena nataka nishukulu pia kanisa letu, la friends, kwa kutuweka pamoja, ili tupate maombi. Niki mleta kwa hii shule, ili muwacha hapa kwa amani. Nika tarajia ya akuji, kwa hafta. School principal Jail Lusa Mucha rather mourned the late students following the accident that claimed the young lives. I arrived at Naivasha. I found Three students in hospital and they were all covered in blood. They were hurt from the head injuries to hands to legs and I found our parents were already there. It is unfortunate that I did not even have the opportunity to inform them that they have lost their children. They had already gotten the information through the media. And when we arrived as protocol of the government, I was asked to go and identify the students. It was a difficult moment. Jail Lesamoka there, the principal Bihi girls in Vihiga, where six students died following an accident on the 18th of last month that happened in Naivasha. 
NTVA Cabinet Secretary Keturek Kendiki is in Marsabit following the death of four people in the area. The Cabinet Secretary is holding a security meeting after the four members of two families were gunned down. The CS has directed the county security team to pursue perpetrators and bring them to book. He at the same time called for concerted efforts, including partnering with the media and other stakeholders to better the country's security. Well, now United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres is in Kenya for a two-day official visit. Guterres was this morning received by Foreign Affairs Cabinet Secretary Alfred Mutua at JKIA Nairobi. CS Mutua said that the UN chief's visit will be centered on the security situation in Sudan. He will meet President William Ruto and all heads of various UN agencies were meeting in Nairobi this week. Warring generals in Sudan agreed to a seven-day ceasefire after regional envoys denounced repeat violations of previous truces. And in Rwanda, the death toll from landslides and floods in the country has now risen to more than 100 the Rwandan public broadcaster RBA reports that 109 have died, 95 in the western province and 14 in northern province. Muddy waters destroyed houses, as seen in a video clip posted on Twitter by the state-run agency. The Rwanda Met Department has forecast rainfall above average this month. For the East African nation, that brings us to exactly eight minutes past one. These and more stories are two. I'm Teddy Otieno. Good afternoon. 96 News.